Hello everyone, and welcome to the Link Shack, where you learn the world's languages. My name is Michael, and today we're going to be talking about the Tahitian language. The Tahitian language is obviously native to Tahiti. It's also very closely related to Hawaiian, Maori, and Rapa Nui, the language of Easter Island. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the grammar features of this language, along with some phrases, and later in the video, we're going to go over some longer strings of Tahitian, followed by a question of the day for ya. Now let's dive into the video. The Tahitian language forms part of the Eastern Polynesian branch of the Austronesian language group, and bears significant resemblance to many Polynesian languages. Tahitian had significant influence on Rapa Nui, the language of Easter Island, due to a great percentage of Rapa Nui people being forced to migrate and work in Tahiti by pirates uh, during the late 1800s. It does have a lot of the same grammar, similar phonology, and shared vocabulary as other Polynesian languages do. Notes about sound changes from Proto-Polynesian. The K sound has disappeared from Polynesian, turning into a glottal stop most of the time. Hawaiian also exhibited this feature in initial consonants a la out. Umara, sweet potato. Uri, dog like animal. Ia, fish. Tahitian also tends toward the v v v v, -v end of the w v f sound spectrum in Polynesian languages. Va'a, boat. Vahine, woman. Like Hawaiian, the m sound has disappeared from Tahitian. Ta'ata from Tangata, meaning person. Ioa, meaning name from Ingoa. Phrases. Iorenawe, hello, hi there. Hairemai, maneva, maeva. Welcome. Parahi, goodbye. Aroa e. See you later, alligator. Nana. Bye. Ea te huru. How are you? Mai tai roa. Very good. Maururu roa. Thank you a lot. The articles. Like many Polynesian languages, Tahitian has the definite article te. However, it also has indefinite articles as well. The Tahitian article system is a little bit complex. It's even more complex than many Romance languages are. However, they have a concept of dual and plural indefinite and definite articles, which is very bizarre to most of us native English speakers or even non-Polynesian language speakers. The plural form would be like saying the two cars or the two houses, but only two and no more or no less than two. So taking a look at this, uh, the singular definite article is te, as mentioned before. The dual form of this is tao na, and the plural form of this is te mao, which would be like the three men or many, you know, the, the countries. The countries of the world, because you don't specify something, it's just plural. And the indefinite singular, you say te hoe or te tahi, which is like saying a car or a house. However, Tahitian takes this a step further and does an indefinite dual form and an indefinite plural form, which is very, very strange to us. So this would supposedly be like saying a two houses or some houses, I suppose. Some houses or some houses for the dual or some things maybe would be similar to our version of this, our application of this indefinite and dual and plural forms. Tahitian has use for special cases as well. And in these special cases, the article may stand by itself or serve as a sort of counter word combining with the definite article te, like Korean or Mandarin, and phrases such as a pair of shoes, or a pack of dogs, or a pack of dogs, for example. O tane, or o vahine, is used to mark gender for trees, plants, and fish, but is only used for emphasis. Iita o tane. It o vahine. Male or female papa. Oni or ufa are used to mark genders and animals generally. Moaoni, a rooster. Urioni, a male dog. Uriufa, a female dog. Nana is a bound particle and it is for flocks and herds of animals. 
Tehoe Nanamamoi, a flock of sheep, where Tehoe is the definite plural form, Nana is a definite article which bounds itself to Tehoe, and Mamoe means sheep. Tehoe Nanaia, a school of fish, where Tehoe is the definite plural form, Nana is the definite article which bounds itself to Tehoe, and Ia meaning fish. And articles for animal, people, and objects get much, much, much more specific. Bound articles include hui. Hui is used for elders or formal people. You must use te with it, though. Te hui mana, the authorities. Te hui arii, the royals. And lastly, ma is for families and is unbound. Teri ima, the teris. There are many more article, definite and indefinite article forms that can bound or stand alone in Tahitian. However, we're not going to touch on that because there are tons and tons and tons and tons of them to discuss. Nouns. Nouns are very simple and have no other forms generally outside of reduplicated forms. What's important in a Tahitian sentence is the aspect, modality, and tense particles of the verbs and other particles that modify our clause. Clause. Adjectives. Adjectives in Tahitian always come after the noun. Te arii vahine nehenehe, the beautiful queen. Some adjectives take reduplicated forms for the singular, the dual, and the plural forms. Some adjectives don't have dual forms and have plural forms, and others have no plural form and no dual form, and others just simply use the same for both dual and plural forms. For singular forms, we have roa, meaning long. In the dual form, this is ro, roa. In the plural form, this is roa roa, which can also mean very long. Poto, meaning short, has a dual form of popoto and a plural form of poto poto. Ino, meaning bad, only has a form for the singular and shares the same form with the dual and the plural. Ino, iino, and iino in the plural. Rahi, only has a plural and a singular form, rahi for the singular, and the plural form is rahi, meaning a lot. Maitai, which means good, similar to Hawaiian maikai, has maitai in the dual form, however in the plural form this is ma maitai. Poto poto can also mean very short, as roroa can mean very long. So does that mean that ma, ma, that ma mai ta'i means very good and that uh, i'ino means very bad? Not sure. Te ta'ata roa, the tall person. Te mao ta'ata roa roa, the tall people. The comparative and superlative forms of adjectives come after the adjective that describes the noun. A'e is used to mark, the, is used to make the adjective comparative. Just use just simply use roa or rahi before ae to express the superlative. So comparative is like greater and the superlative is like greatest. So the general formula is adjective plus roa rahi plus ae. You don't need roa rahi unless you're doing the best. However, you will need ae for the better one. So for example, te ta'ata mai ta'i, the good person. Te ta'ata mai ta'i a'e, the better person. Te ta'ata mai ta'i roa a'e, the best person on the entire planet. Pronouns and possession. Like most Polynesian languages, Tahitian, Tahitian's possession and pronoun system uh, are marked for inalienability and alienability. This is generally done in two classes, the A class and an O class. The O class is an inalienable class, and the A class is an alienable class. So for example, the O class of possessives is, ina is inalienable, meaning that it can be used with things that form an integral part of something, such as body parts, children or parents, or intimate connections. The A class is inalienable, or I'm sorry, alienable, and this is something that you can transfer ownership to info. In the singular forms of the of the possessive pronouns, we have to'u, which is my, and ta'u, in the a form. And then we have to'e for your, and ta'oe, to'e and ta'oe, sorry. 
And then the third person singular form, which is like he, she, or it, you have tona in the o form and tana in the a form, plural. So for the first person singular form, this is a little bit complex. It is the most complex pronoun of the whole system. So the first person plural dual exclusive, which would be like saying me and you, but without me, you would say to maua for the O class and ta maua for the A class. In the first person singular dual inclusive form, this is like saying me and you, but with me this time, dual inclusive. So to taua in the uh, ta taua in the plural form and ta taua, I'm sorry, to taua in ta taua in the dual inclusive. And in the first person plural exclusive, this would be like saying me, Henry, and you, but without me. Tomato in the O and tomato in the plural, in the A uh, form, sorry. The first person plural inclusive, which is like me, Henry, and you, all of us included, would be tomato in the O class and ta tato in the first in the A uh, class. The second person plural dual form, which is like you all, but only two people, and no more than two people, is to Oroa and ta Oroa. And the second person plural, meaning more than two people using you all, you would say to Oto and ta Oto. In the third person dual, meaning they, but only two people, you would say to Rawa and ta Rawa. And in the third person plural, meaning they, but more than three people, you say to rato and ta rato. Some examples of A class ta uuri, my dog, ta we upea, your net, ta u paro, my word, ta u vahine, ta u tane, my wife or my husband. O class examples to urima, my hand, to rato metua. Your, their parents. Toe malfare, your houses. Possession of plural objects is used by simply adding mal between the possessive form and the object. Verbs. There are no verb conjugations in Tahitian, like most Polynesian languages. However, verbs are very complex because they require this aspect tense modality markers to be added to the front or after, and the tense is typically added before the verb such as ua for the finished past, e for continuous actions, and e for simple past. What follows the verb is generally the location or direction. The formula for Tahitian verb construction goes something like this. Time and tense is first, followed by the verb, which is followed by the aspect, location, or direction marker. Depending on whether the action is happening near or far away from the hearer or the speaker, down to if Either the speaker or the hearer knows about the entity in question, or even if there's movement involved, you will see examples of this system of aspect, location, direction, and modality in the next sections. Negative forms. Tahitian, the negative particle comes right before the verb. Tahitian has five different negative particles. The main difference is tense. Aita and aore are used in the present and the past, and eita and aore are used with the future while ere is a general negative clause, like it's not or there's not. In the present negative form, we have aita vao e tamaanei. Aita meaning not. Vao is an object form of I, somehow. Uh, ing is e. Tamaa means eating. And ne is a particle which, it, which indicates closeness or proximity in time. And in the past emphasized negative form, eora is the future equivalent. So, aorao i tupai iana. Aora is not. Ao means I. E is the past. Or, tupai is to hit. And iana is him. This is also some sort of object form. The future negative. Eita te taata e hohone hia. Etehuri. Eita means not. Te is the. 
Ta'ata is man or person. E is the ing. Hohoni is Hohoni is a means to bite. Hia means by. E is an agent is an agent in form which marks the agent of the sentence, which here is the dog. Te it means the and uri is dog. Causative arms. The causative is like saying, I'm making you do it. Or he's, you know, he caused he caused me to act bad. Stuff like this. In Tahitian, this is generally done with the prefix fa'a or ha, which is also very typical of many Polynesian languages, such as ho'o in Hawaiian and hoko in other languages. Here are some examples of regular causative endings. In the base form, you have tupu, meaning to make, a mean to grow. However, fa'a tupu means to make something grow. Ite generally means to know. However, fa'a ite means to make something known. Maitai means good or to um, or to do good. However, ha'a maitai means to do good or to make someone do good. Sometimes the cause of meaning uh, can be hard to ascertain from the base meaning. Some examples of this include ofati, meaning to break. However, fa'aoti means to finish. Nehe nehe means to be beautiful. However, fa'a nehe nehe means to clean. Tai means to arrive, however, fa'atai means to import. Let's take a look at some sample sentences in Tahitian. Now that we've had a look at some of Tahitian's grammar, let's take a look at some longer sentences to see what we can. E papai i atu vao i o e iterata. So, e here is the im form. Papai is to write. Atu is a locative. A locative, article, uh, locative form, meaning uh, something that is far away. Vau means me. Ia is uh, it. It, or he or she. Oe is you. E is an object particle here. Te is the, and rata is leather. I am writing you a letter, or I am writing him a letter to you, or something like this. The second example. Ua. Hiti mahuta vau na roto i tau moe moea. Ua is a past tense marker. Hiti mahuta is to wake up. Vau is me. Na is na is from. Roto is inside. E is in. Tau is my, which is an A form, and moe moea is our dreams. So this sentence means that it um, that it woke me up from my dreams, or I was woken up from my dreams, something like this. And the last sentence is e haere te mau taata i ropu i te miti na nia i te uro rato va. E is a present marker here. Haere means to go or to go out, which is similar to uh, the Hawaiian form hele. Te means the. Te mau is a is a plural infant a plural definite marker. Ta'ata is person. I ropu, I ropu means in the middle of. Itemiti means Itemiti means in the water. Na na nia. Na nia means above. To means to rato means there in the o form and va'a means but there was so much more grammar that we could have discussed today in the Tahitian language, but you can only put so much grammar on one video. Question of the day. If you speak other Polynesian languages, did you notice these grammar features? Can you understand this language? How similar do you think Hawaiian and Tahitian are? If you speak Rapa Nui, can you identify many words in your language that came directly from Tahitian? Thank you all for watching. If you are interested in language related content, then subscribe to the Lang Shack where we are all things language. Catch us on our social media handles, at Langshack on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Have a good one, and I'll catch you all in the next video.